victory after the uh, campaign in PCC Premier Cup. So we needed this victory to gain back that confidence. So how does it feel? Yeah, in in regard with managing confidence, you are right. Uh, see, I was evident to what work was put in in Gujarat. The number of hours the boys sweat, the areas that they wanted to improve. And we also knew that we were coming across expectations. Somebody had told us long back over here that we were defending champions for the ACC. And we understand that as well. But like you said, from the journey of Oman, where we had put up disappointment of not crossing the line, not meeting our expectations, not meeting your expectation, and not meeting our fans' expectation. And I take full responsibility for that. But at the same time, I'm happy for these boys that they have again shown their potential, at least in the home ground where they are familiar with. And our batting unit has again fired. Somebody asked me that question yesterday. So, what do you want to tell about who is going to do Oh, uh, what do, how do I explain that? It is a definition of batsmanship. It's an example of courage, conviction of what you know and how to present it. I know it hurt him most because I've been with him through this journey. So, it hurt him most when we didn't cross the line, you know, when we didn't qualify for the Asia Cup. And when we didn't turn up in the in next 24 hours to again put up a good show to play against Hong Kong and cross side, which didn't happen. Okay. Like I said, that uh, it hurt us, obviously it hurt us. But at the same time, it, what is important is that when you get a couple of days, you sit back, quiet your mind, and you start reflecting what all things you know well, your strengths. And I'm glad that uh, Rohit put up a show here because it was one of the best things that I have come across in 15 months over here with all of you. And I am happy for him. I am happy for Nepal and I am happy for Rohit. I would in fact go ahead and say that if people around who are running the leagues, if they have seen this one inning of Rohit, even he belongs to T20 leagues around the world. That's the way I would put it. So in the power play, they were 77, uh, they scored 77, but after that, we went to a really good comeback. Uh, so they managed to restrict them in 204 runs. So, except uh, Kamal Singh Ayri, we did really good in bowling. I mean, as for our exception with his uh, skills, and we executed really well in the bowling. So, how do you... so, so I'll speak first about Kamal. Kamal has also has gone through a huge grind coming out of injury a month ago, you know, back on the field, putting up some performances over here against ASI. And to come here and I'm sure, I mean, it happens, you know, but one game doesn't make anyone uh, belongs or doesn't belong. I feel that he belongs at the highest level. In terms of the planning and all that, I will give credit to the entire management. We have been injury free for last 12 months. Our medical team has been monitoring players' workload very well. Our uh, planning in which coach Nandan and Raman gets involved to look into footages, to look into data, some external support also which we get at times. And coach Roddy, uh, who also has now joined and started giving a little more understanding to our bowlers that what it takes to win one ball, what it takes to win one over, and what it takes to win certain phases. Like you said, after the start that West Indies had, very happy that the way we pulled back. 200 was a daunting task, but at the same time, we also are capable. So, with a couple of uh, good hits, though it's one beginnings, it has helped us to cross the line today. Is this a moral boosting performance from the team before Yes, in terms of uh, what I know about West Indies, a couple of games in West Indies, what I know about Florida, similar surfaces is what I expect. If I put that into account, this is definitely moral boosting, confidence boosting result for us today. Again, I'm very grateful to West Indies to stand a very strong side over here. I know they are also looking for one or two spots. Royston Chase Barrett so well. Malik, who was, who was an excellent talent, he started off so well. And some of the partnerships, including Casey Carty, the way he was looking today. You know, We are also learning from our opponents how graceful they were in their couple of shots which they played. But moral boosting because with a good side when you play and you compete, and you cross the line, you feel good that you belong. Having said that, let me also say that we should set our expectations right. Whatever results which we are getting is purely because of the belief and the hard work which is put in place. 
and always give credit to our 12th men. When we come to TV, it's a different ball game. I know that we are good at home. This year we also didn't have all the results in our favor. So we are learning from that. I hope that this keeps on becoming a story that we have been talking about, where not individually someone is also growing his confidence, but as a team. And as Nepal, as a cricket country, is uh, on the roadmap for a lot of people to have a look at. Uh, good one. I think sometimes that is important, you know, because uh, in those all three innings, uh, just that he got a good ball and he was not able to build his innings. Uh, today we had Anil who stepped up and he said that let me take a strike. This is what we want. Uh, let us look after each other is what the promise is in the dressing room. And it was evident over there in this small moment which you talked about. And that is what we want. Technically, we always want to be step ahead. Uh, Coach, one of the... What the result you have there? We put some pair in the test uh, in different situations, uh, in different goals. Uh, we are looking at the World Cup as well uh, at the same time. So what's the ex expert from this game that you take uh, with the players we put on test? Players who had expectations from themselves and in their roles were not able to execute today, I will only urge them that this is just one game. They have been working hard in defining their roles as well. Players who have done well, they should look into what they have done well. And we have game again tomorrow, so obviously we have squad of 20. And we will sit quietly in the evening, look into what we want to see tomorrow. And probably also tactically and at the same time, keeping World Cup in our mind, think about what changes we want. That's what I would sum up. Uh, coach. One of the prime ballers, both Karan Kesi and Swampal Kami were rested today. What was the plan? I think that plan worked very well, but what was the plan, like resting two of the prime ballers, fast ballers? The, the plan was to rest. Uh, <laughs> uh, the plan was to rest them and uh, keep them fresh. They have been taking all the responsibility for the last 15 months. It also gives opportunity. And I would say they also stepped up. They also wanted their fellow mates to get opportunity and us to see who else is equally good. Having said that again, experience and the number of games behind Sompal Kami and Casey Karin is different to any new player who comes and plays the same role. So it's not easy for someone else to step up in the shoes of Sompal Kami and Casey Karin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make sure you give a good clap to Rohit. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.